Select mission, protect trade, in the only place I do anything in. Wait, cancel mission. Let me see. What does it say? 0.43 gain. We're actually doing profit somehow. Don't ask me. I don't know. <laughs> That's good. It's good though. Profits are always nice, right? Always nice. Uh, the former uh, bohemian vassals are fighting each other. Hmm. Salzburg, that's someone that was doing really good and then we stopped hearing about. It's doing pretty good. It got Lanchot. Still, still has Lanchot. Austria, I think, is gonna stifle it a little though. Because Austria is now the emperor and is the direct neighbor and is very threatening to him. Really? Even being tolerant, I can convert. Wow, it's actually even easy to do so. I don't think I want to invest that much money into it, though. I'd rather just invest my money into colonization. I think both colonization and conversions would be a little too much to ask for. Where are the colonies at? Doing okay, I guess. Tax income, 0.15 and 0.7. Is that per month or per, um, per year? I can see that being per year because that's a lot of income for a tiny uh, province like that. Crimea lost to Moscow. Yes, well, that's actually pretty accurate even today. Disagreeing advisor. He has a point though. I can pay five prestige to get 25 power of anything, or I can kill the thing I desperately need to not lose diplo power. I think that's an easy one. Just just saying, I got military power, which isn't the best, but it's not, you know, it's it's still power. If you appear next was Songli, I don't know why this one, Adal seems a bit more pressing, but uh, is there even a port over there? That's fishing harbor, that's nothing at all. Get out of there. Nothing at all, nothing at all. Nope. They cannot actually govern this side until they annex Adele, Adal. Uh, I would argue that they still can't, but whatever. Augsburg is now an elector. Okay. Mainz is annexed by Nuremberg. Shanti will seed things. That's just African nonsense. Nobody cares about. Jewish synagogue for Kish. Enjoy. Making money, look at that. I have enough money to get some ships going. Gunders, three of them. Um, yeah, they're all the same. It's here, it's slightly not as long um, because of the. Um, hold on, what is this? Huh. Uh, I'm gonna show you actually because of this. Shipbuilding time minus 10%. I have a nice bay, that's why. I wish it would reduce the cost to create ships as well. Although I wouldn't want to <laughs> build them from anywhere else anymore. That might be counterproductive, who knows. 4%! Currently, currently has 500 natives. By the way, 500 natives, excuse me, there's 500 natives and like 10,000 people. I don't know what the other 10,000 people are. I mean, 10,000 people. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. That's probably just me. Maybe the mods can tell you, oh, but this means something different to when it's not colonized. It means like it's 500. It's 500 per, I don't know. <laughs> Is Vijay attacking Ceylon really? My God. Salem's going to lose, in theory, but in practice, I don't know, Vijay has been losing this entire time. Maybe Vijay is trying to get itself a backup plan, like, okay, I gave everything to Bamani, but I still exist here, and then I'm going to reconquer the entire peninsula from the island. That would be funny. 
Man, that would have been a great game to be sail on because we could have unified the island and then maybe tried to make a uh, a naval empire but not really conquer India, just just have the tippity island. Oh, that would be funny. Would have been the perfect game for it. It just... Oh, yes, I kind of need that. But tech... What is it going to give me? I can study tech. Increases colonial range and trade range. Uh, when do I get the next one of these? Level 30. Very, very far away. I mean, it's 10 levels away. What's hurting me right now is I my focus is in the wrong spot. That's what's hurting me. Much better. Um, March 9th. See, it's it's taken so long. I'm gonna get this one because I need to colonize faster. And then, now, I'm gonna focus on tech for a little while because none of this helps me colonize faster. It helps me expand faster and other things, but it doesn't really help me colonize. I have some of the islands explored, actually. Is this island? Yeah, okay, this is... All the islands are... At, oh. This is probably Seychelles then, right? Cecil? <laughs> Sounds like Seychelles. Ilwa. Are these two things? Yes, they are. The Mauritius Islands. And this, if I colonize this, I can actually make claims here, but I don't have to because I can... Not this. This. I can colonize this one, in theory. Huh. And I can colonize it. Because colonizing in Africa, as I keep mentioning, uh, is subject to certain rules. Left to the embargo. Yeah, okay. Corrupt ambassador? Wait, what? Okay, hold on. Th this is a colonization thing, and I don't know about it, so I'm going to read it. Representatives... No. Well, this doesn't really make sense in the penal colony thing, but whatever. Unknown disappearing happens. Oh no! This is not working! I'm guessing colonies are given this just to help, because this mechanic, this communications efficiency mechanic, was not meant to. Uh, was not thought out with colonies in mind so they're just giving it to make it possible i don't know if it's going to just hammer you with uh, very terrible um, communications efficiency as soon as it finishes though desires of the flesh what is this oh the sultan likes flesh does he not have enough wives Oh no, it's my it's the it's the queen that's having an affair. Oh. I mean I don't wanna bribe him. I can lose fifteen prestige. I can lose the treasurer, which is not something I wanna do. I don't really have a good replacement. Half price replacement. They're all plus two. I can lose $90, which is unacceptable. Or I can lose five prestige and hope we don't get a worse event. I'll go with this one and just pray a little, but it's... I mean, with this game, I expect we're going to get something worse. But Rossi has a civil war. Huh. It's somewhat equal. 10 versus 9. Although I, I assume Rancy can do better than 10. I think probably he can, but I wouldn't bet on it either. Hey, Maldive. I can fabricate a claim, right? Yep. Maladwipa. Ah, we got a claim. Yay! Now we can just kill them if we want to. Do we? Hmm. Uh, I'm two buildings away from actually being able to govern the thing. It is valuable somehow. 
Does it have modifiers? It is tropical, that's not good. They form Sufis, nobody cares. Pearls, large amounts of pearls. That's probably what's helping the income. Trade, trade, trade thing is fish, it's not worth anything. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're pretty wealthy, all things considered. I wish my slices of desert were... Oh, they were. Oh, never mind me then. <laughs> uh, this one isn't. Too pop like the other thing, but it's just, it doesn't have pearls, I guess. Wait, no, it does. Never mind me. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Oh, man. Where's my fleet? Okay, once my fleet is done, I'm just going to go scout with it. And if the coast is clear, I'm just going to go kill them. 5,000 is going to be enough, right? I hope. Has to be. Uh, you can you, you can stop doing that now. I have everything I need. Shouldn't have closed that. I think I'm just going to go back to trying to spy on you. Are you, are you counter spying? No. Good. We have a chance. If someone's counter spying on you, just stop and come back later they eventually just realize that you're not spying anymore and they stop counter spying yeah see they've stopped they become vulnerable again it, it, it it's annoying because you you want to really get going now oh look at that veggie lost i figured it was a bit risky momentum is a thing in this game you'll see the ai just get very aggressive and then get over aggressive and start running into trouble that happens like constantly whoops that shouldn't have done that shouldn't have closed that so goya declared war on garha okay hmm malayalam omani yeah banking huh? I wish I had that. Do I? Wait, no, I think I do, actually. <laughs> Which one do I have? This one. Presence in the Omen, almost everywhere, except the desert, and then the... Well, it's all desert, I guess that's not really a factor. The, the, the deep desert. Deep desert, and then the two countries, the two tiny countries. Yeah, because we own a lot of uh, present-day countries. Once we have Maldives, we're going to have one, two Omen, three United Arab Emirates. Uh, 4 Qatar, 5 Bahrain, 6 with Kuwait. That's 6 countries. That's not bad. So where is this? It's some places in Persia. That's nice. If it can actually get there faster. That's in this. Philosophy! Yeah, look at that. It's getting here. If these guys can adopt it uh, in an interesting amount of time, then uh, it can maybe spread to us a lot faster because this has been slow going so far, I feel like. Turkish Empire has it, it seems. Or is starting to have it. What about meritocracy, by the way? Where is it now? It's slowly making its way through into China. It's only beginning to arrive slowly in... Um, in India, very slowly. Once it gets to India though, and starts spreading to India, we're not very far. Okay, we're pretty far right now, but <laughs> we're gonna get there eventually in, oh yeah, this is coming too. Where is it going to start? Uh, it can appear in a province if it's at least 1525. At most 1550, I take it. So it could happen uh, sooner than I think. Uh, it needs to be part of the Holy Roman Empire. We need to have innovative ideas. Uh, you need to be Protestant or Reformed. What is this? Casual literacy? Okay. And we need to have a art center. And it needs to be a center of production. Alright. 
I don't know how many provinces are going to fit all these conditions, but if the, no one does, it's going to be in 1550, and that's that. We can't get it, though. No, sir. I'm pretty sure none of them usually start in Arabia. Just saying. Tunis is attacking Kel Ahaga. Because Tunis... Uh, honestly, I feel like Tunis should focus on Mamluks instead of the Sahara. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like... Yeah, autonomy is gonna rise to 90% here. 99, if not 100. Yeah, um, you're not getting anything out of the Saharan Desert. Tunis, though, is naval. If you can get the coastline, you can actually get a lot more out of Egypt than you can out of the Sahara Desert, even if it's closer. If you look at the map, it's closer, but it's a lot more difficult to actually control. Fess is attacking Kela Hagar as well. It's a race! They're both wasting their time. Fes honestly should be trying to pick on Tunis, but maybe it feels like it's not strong enough. That's possible. It should actually maybe also try to ally the Mamluks to contain Tunis. But I'm just extrapolating. Huh. Kandesh is attacking Garha. Well, I'm so sorry, Garha. You're, you're dying. I'm so sorry. Wait, tribals and freeholders. Lesser nobles have 2% influence. That is pathetic. I'm trying to fix it. It's pathetic, though. Have a gift. Um, have also a gift, except you can't. No. Oh, it shouldn't be very long now. Uh, can I demo them? I would lose less. I would have less chances of losing stability, and I cannot lose as much as I probably as I could have. I still don't want to do it yet. I don't know if demoting them is more important than uh, um, revoking privileges. But at the same time, you look at these estates. 20% is a fifth. They have more than five provinces, so it is going to remove provinces from them. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven freaking provinces. To the lesser nobles, five. Is it one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, five. That's kind of stupid in terms of ratio. It's even more stupid when you take into account population because all the population is in the greater nobles hands. Do I really have enough for another claim? Hold on. I think I do. I think it's kind of stupid. No, I don't. 80. Okay. <laughs> We're at 70. We're getting close. Uh, oh, hey. Can I shift click? Oh, dude, I can shift click. I've been off screen in my own time. I've been actually playing a uh, RTS. So I guess I'm remembering some of the normal me mechanics of RTSs that everybody knows and that I guess I just forgot. This wasn't green because Maldives somehow took it, it was green because I was in another map. Wait. Oh, I wasn't in a states map, sorry. And Glenn allows you, yeah, whatever. Embargoes. Embargoes, everyone wants to know about them. 3k. So now the big question is, can my 3k, my 5k beat their 3k? Uh, it's a risk, because if I lose the battle, my troops just disappear. And I lose the war. It is a risk. They can't win though, I can just impose some, um, because I'm going to blockade them fully, I can just impose my own terms, and that's going to be that. So, no, you know what, we're going to try. What time is it? Time for me to end it, actually. Next time, I may or may not conquer Maldives, or I may try to go for the Persian coastline. 
uh, if I feel like it. How's Fars doing? I might. They're not growing that fast. They still have two mercenaries. That must be killing their income. Let's take a look, actually. Total. Madura is in trouble. <laughs> Taxation minus. How are you doing that? <laughs> Ming is insane. Uh, wow. This does not take into. By the way, this is not. This is raw income. This is before you remove the expenses. It's income, period. Like, my income is nine currently. We're right here. Where's Fars is the question that I was wondering. Also, I'm not looking at the right thing because what I want is... Uh, wait, no. Sorted my country, you fool. Go this way. Fars, 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 Fars. It's for science, all right? Six, they have less income than us. And they have two mercenaries. They must, must be uh, income inflation charts income comparison oh that's income comparisons uh, why is there no neighbor option i want a neighbor option oh dude a graphic it's nice so we have oman and other people do i have forest in there somewhere theories in there i don't know why <laughs> it had a spike here <laughs> i don't know what's going on Fars is all over the place been going down though oh this is um this is the entire game though okay hold on income overview view income comparison does it not have like cost there you go cost overview Is there a better view than that in the whole? Inflation can be interesting too. Is anybody getting wrecked by inflation? Which color am I, Fars? I guess I'm this. I feel like I have less inflation than that, but okay. Okay, fine, cost of a view. That's only mine though. I want to know how much they're paying for goddamn mercenaries whatever doesn't matter they're gonna get wrecked anyway what's their tech level yeah they're still at 19. we have a better unit troop although it's only better if you're attacking it's actually worse if you're defending but we're gonna be attacking right we should be fine don't worry about it next time i may just attack the persians even though i'm preparing to attack the yeah never mind me just i'll attack someone guaranteed until then See y'all.